Cancer, this is Jackie Tom, and this is your general reading for the week of March 27, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, please remember these are general readings. Take with you what resonates. Leave what does not behind for someone else. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking personal readings. Hi, Miss Dana. Okay, so you're reconnecting with someone from the past. I'm not really sure if this is in your love life, if that applies yet or not. We'll find out as the reading unfolds. But I can tell you there is intensity and love for both my singles and my couples. Okay. Very high drive for success. Something that you've been working on in the fall will come to fruition here that now that we're in spring doesn't necessarily mean it'll be this week. If you are separated from someone or something, it is just temporary. Okay, this is also a week that secrets are going to be revealed. What first appears to you to be a disappointment is going to actually appear to be a blessing in disguise. You can got good news coming in um, as well as a good business deal. So, yeah. Hey, Juliet. So, let's see what we have for cancer. This is your week of March 27th, 2023. All right, cancer, your first card up here. We have the Three of Swords. So, we have intensity in the love life, but I also have three as a crowd. Okay, be warned of a third party involvement here. And I'll be honest with you, that applies to my singles and my couples. <clears throat> we also have the Eight of Swords. This is what I call the card of self-imposed restrictions, meaning no one is holding yourself back but you. And we have, is this, yes, it is, the, the lover's card. Is this the lover's? Yeah, the lover's. So definitely intensity and the love life. Um, let me make this really clear. I don't see problems in love. I see secrets. Okay. You know, um, so let's just keep your eyes open in regards to matters of the heart on the week of the 27th. Oh, look at there. Things jumping out. Of the deck. Let's see what we have here. Doesn't even want to come back. What jumps out of the deck? Very nice. Okay. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is your abundance card. Now your abundance card represents finances. Okay. It's the highest financial card in the deck. But it's actually more than that. We're talking about... Abundance, health, wealth, family, friends, just an abundance in general. It is, it is, it is. And we have, I wonder if it's because everybody's online on Mondays. The center of the reading. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, I call her right back. Center of the reading. Okay, comes in with the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords says things are moving along quickly, smoothly, uh, but there's something here that's rushing in. And it's like you're expecting the worst. Okay, so you need to kind of adjust your thinking here, especially when you're looking at the abundance because with that, yep, I cannot make that up, is the Ten of Cups. And that Ten of Cups says, you know, this is a relationship, a partnership, something of the forever stance, okay? So two tens together are just as strong as having the death card energy. And a new beginning. Look, y'all got cards flying. I haven't had, not had this problem all morning. Um, same as the death card energy and the strength of that new beginning. With that comes the wheel, also a 10. And that wheel is turning in your favor. This is good luck and abundance. They are, they are. And it just started here for cancer. And this is also your card of partnership. Now it's a general rating, so it could be partnership in 
love. This could be partnership in money or business. So you're going to have to take it as it resonates, but it is good luck and abundance. And I did tell you at the beginning of the reading, you could expect good news on a good business deal. So, all right. Let's see what else we have going on here. Oh, look at there. We have the sun, the sun shining brightly in all that you do. You're in control and some leadership going on here. I'm liking what I see. Patience. You have an abnormal amount of patience, which will lead to the world as in the world is your oyster. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Let's jump over here. I could do whole rating on this deck alone. I just love these cards here. All right. So coming up here. The Queen of Emotions, which is your Queen of Cups. This is the one asking you to open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. Uh, Scorpio may or may not resonate here. It's part of letting go of that pessimism. The Three of Cups. Three or more people. Um, that also fell on that three of swords. Okay. So definitely let's make sure we're not getting involved in any third party situation in regards to matters of the heart. <laughs> and with this card, we have, Ooh, the muse of voices Two of swords. You got decisions to make decisions to make decisions you've been putting off with this being in you. So I'm going to be honest with you. I think you've got options. Options and matters of the heart. You need to make a decision. Who's going to be your new muse? That's what it's asking you. Point blank and simple. Time to look at your future because there is the eight of emotions. Walking away from someone or something that do, no longer serves a purpose to you. Okay, like I said, who's going to be the new use? Center of your reading, I love it. The Six of Inspiration. Okay, so we're talking about the Six of Wands here. This is Total Victory, Complete Success. There's your clearing. <laughs> it says, you know, you're surrounded, you're, you're a popular person, you're in the spotlight, you have a lot to offer the right person, okay? And I think with, overall, you're looking at being appreciated, and there's nothing wrong with that, because we're coming up here with the Nine of Cups, okay? I'm sorry, this is not an aspiration, so it's going to be the Nine of Wands. That Nine of Wands is a bajiggity card, says you're feeling anxious, overwhelmed, and excited all at one time. You feel changes in the air, and cancer is like the door is open, but you've got to walk through it, okay? Change is there, and on that wheel, the Hamies, this is time for you to wait for spirit to give you the answer give you the direction that you're seeking you're feeling stuck you're not stuck at all you're just not listening to yourself on the sun card we have the three of wands okay waiting for your ship to come in you are just patiently waiting and on the world we have love this too the queen of wands. Okay. And this says that you're grounded and you're centered and you're getting things together. You may or may not be dealing with a Virgo. They apply here. Someone coming in to give you advice, not unwanted, much appreciated advice. Okay. And the center you're reading, we're going to kick in with the seven of pentacles and that seven of pentacles, you know, this is um, planting the seed, watching it grow, but definitely Working and gaining. All right. I'm not getting any message to continue. So we're going to end the reading here. Guys, if you're interested in a membership, it, the link is in the description box below. Cross watchers are always welcome. Um, and don't forget, you can visit YouTube's homepage and find the join button there as well. JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. And I will be right back. What do we have next? Leo. See you then. Bye.